But first, we begin. Embattled City Councilman Kevin DeLeon is in hot water. It started with a showdown at City Hall and ended with a physical fight in Lincoln Heights. CBS 2's Tina Ezzedine live in Lincoln Heights with more. Good morning, Tina. And good morning. Uh, this all happening during a holiday celebration at the Senior Center, which is the building you see here behind me. Let's get straight to the video and you can see exactly what is it that happened involving uh, the council member. Uh, a group called, quote, Roots Action uh, tweeted this slow motion video, but we are not exactly sure who recorded the video. The tweet from Roots Action says that De Leon assaulted a local organizer. Uh, and then De Leon ended up speaking with us about this altercation. And he says that protesters came to the party. He says then he tried to leave, but the protesters actually blocked the doors and prevented that from happening. De Leon says then uh, at that point, a man assaulted him. And that is when he says the struggle that you see in this video actually occurred. Headbutted punch twice, you know, uh, clever editing, if you will, and put out there in the social media platforms, actually, you know, elbowing my own chief of staff, a woman in the face, you know, terrorizing, you know, hundreds of children and, 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 and parents, you know, low income families, that place has no, and there's a lot of witnesses. So you can go and, and talk to, you know, tens, you know, uh, or at least a hundred witnesses who witness and you can take their word, you know, you know to take my, I think we have to do that because this, we can't continue this. Naturally, uh, the city council president, uh, Paul Krikorian, then stepped in uh, with a comment reacting to the fight. He issued quite a long statement that reads in part, quote, no matter what disputes we may have with elected officials or our fellow citizens, violence like this is completely unacceptable. It goes on to say that in a free society, political disagreements are unavoidable and passionate discussion is necessary but violence discredits the cause that employs it. This all comes at a time, as we all know, uh, where De Leon is uh, being criticized at length. The LAPD is confirming now that the fight did happen and that they are investigating. But this all happened hours after De Leon tried to sit in on a council meeting. This was his only uh, second council appearance since the racist recording scandal uh, came to light in October. And uh, the video you're looking at is all from yesterday. And this all happened prior to the fight at the Senior Center, where we're reporting live from this morning. So you can see uh, it continues. Uh, it was quite an interesting day for the embattled council member. Uh, he is returned to city council, was very short-lived. Uh, but he did sit down and speak with our uh, reporter CBS 2's and KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen, who told us that he does plan to be back uh, in the city council. And, of course, protesters also adding that when that occurs, they also plan to be back at City Hall to protest his return. Reporting live this morning, I'm Tina Ezzedine. Back to you. Together, we have collected thousands and thousands of toys, bringing smiles to the faces of so many children. And this season, your help is needed more than ever. It's time for the Chips for Kids Toy Drive. Join CBS2, KCAL 9, and the California Highway Patrol by bringing a new unwrapped toy to any of our drop-off locations or your local CHP office now through December 23rd. Let's make this a great holiday for everyone. Get CBS News Los Angeles on the CBS News app. Download now. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.